All right, so weather wise, we knew we would have some challenges this weekend and we sure did right? Just buckets of rain coming down. We had some strong storms. We had hail reports yesterday. Uh, thankfully, today things are much, much quieter. We did still add some to the rain gauge from midnight last night. Our Skynet cameras show us total rainfall since midnight, so almost three tenths of an inch in Gallatin. Thankfully, conditions there are dry now. Cookville around four tenths of an inch again, dry, cloudy, but we'll take it dry, right? Everyone's a little waterlogged after getting through, especially last night. Hopkinsville hasn't put any rain in the rain gauge since midnight. <sighs> We're going to need a couple days to dry out. So let's go to Power 5 radars first. The raindrops that it's showing across our southern tier, most of these are evaporating before they hit the ground. But there are still a couple, couple pitter-patters that may touch your windshield tonight. In general, most of the moisture is actually just south across the border into Alabama. <sighs> so we get to take a break somewhat drier times ahead. We are we are going to get another quick splash of rain tomorrow night, but it's just that a quick splash, not a soaking, and it's not enough that it would aggravate the ongoing flooding concerns across some of our waterways. The other part of this was ahead of the rain. It was almost humid, right? We made it into the 60s, upper 60s in some spots. It is noticeably cooler. There's a little bite to the air outside. We're in the 40s, not dramatic for this time of year, but that's below normal. And when you've got a wind out of the north, Around 15, it's got a little cut to it. So a bit of a wind chill tonight. And as we fall down into the 30s, it's going to be noticeably chilly tomorrow to start your Tuesday. We'll start your Tuesday dry, but by late tomorrow night is when that quick splash comes in. Most of it coming after sunset tomorrow night. So this is what this looks like. The moisture that we've got right now slowly sinks away from us. We're left with clouds overnight tonight. So some uh, a little bit of patchy fog, gray skies to start your Tuesday. Areas north may get just a few hours of sunshine tomorrow before the thicker cloud cover starts to sweep back in. Best chance for any rain tomorrow night is going to be for folks south of 40. And like I said, a quick splash. This is a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain at most. So it is not going to aggravate flooding concerns, but I think all of us are ready to just have some good old fashioned sunny skies. So a quick splash Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures start to rebound though as early as Wednesday afternoon. Look at that 60. By the afternoon, that's going to feel fantastic. 63 Thursday, little quick dip in the mercury as we head into the weekend. But at this point, our weekend is looking dry, and it's one of the first dry weekends we've had in quite some time. So I'll take mostly dry and 50s any day of the week. Stay with us. Lots more on News Channel 5 at 4.